Hey guys, it's DeAndrea Dee Dee Collins, and today we're gonna make some herbal butter. I usually put this on top of steaks, or if I'm making paninis, I'll put it on the bread. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna start off with some fresh chives, some minced garlic. You can mince it yourself fresh, but I prefer to just have a lot of it in that container. Some rosemary, and some thyme. And we need four sticks of soft room temperature butter. Salted for, is best. And we're gonna get started. First off, let's go ahead and put all of this butter in a bowl. Now we're gonna chop up all of those um, herbs. This is the thyme. I'm gonna chop up the rosemary and the chives.
Okay, and with a non-stick skillet, I am going to put just a touch of olive oil in the skillet, or you can use some of that butter. I mean, just about the size of a pea. And I'm going to kind of like warm up all of those herbs and the garlic together. This is one of them recipes where you can just eyeball it on how much herbs and garlic that you want to put in there I mean because you know it's all what you want to do but I'm going to just warm that up just to get just kind of like to pop some of that herbal flavor and once I get that done I am going to put this in a bowl and let that chill or get room temperature before you add that to the butter because like right now it's like really hot so you want to let that get room temperature or you know might even put a chill on it and put it in the freezer for about 10 20 minutes but you want that to be completely cooled off before you add that to your butter and when you add that to your butter you're going to um, add some granulated garlic powder as well and that's all seasoned to taste I mean put a little bit in at first with the garlic powder and taste it until you get it to the consistency that you want it and then you go ahead and add your herbs to that butter and then that's pretty much it so go ahead and enjoy the rest of the video After you get the herbs and the garlic powder all mixed in, you're going to go ahead and get you some saran wrap. And you can put as much or as little as you want. And I made three because I use it quite a bit. So I just divided this up into three. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna, if I can ever get this thing torn up, but you're gonna just dollop a little bit into the saran wrap kind of like mold it into the shape that you I mean as thin as you want it and then you're gonna roll it you can kind of shape it while it's while you're molding it like this and then once you get it kind of flat then you're gonna go ahead and just tighten it up on the ends seal it and you can put it in the freezer you can put it inside the refrigerator or you can just put it in a Tupperware bowl and just have it really really soft all the time if you're going to use it a lot because it will go bad if you don't use it up pretty quickly um, in the Tupperware bowl but I just tied it in a knot and voila I've got a little stick of butter 
herbal butter. And like I said, like when I make paninis or garlic, I um, mean, or, or cheese toast or something, I'll put that on the outside of the, the bread. And I also put this on any kind of beef, steak, um, you know, uh, things like that. And it is just so, so good. All right, guys, well, that's it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and give me a thumbs up. And remember, whether you eat to live or live to eat, just stick with me and enjoy good living.